when you were on the drug scene, you signed Oasis when it was at 92? Um, 93. 93. Me, me 93, I met them at King Tut's Wabba. One of the biggest bands in the world. Ever. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So you know, how, did, how did that become, how did that come about? It was a fluke, James. It's like, I was up, I was up the week before in Glasgow doing something because I was massively into the Acid House thing. And I think I was still kind of going to the sub club and all that sort of stuff, uh, you know, early 90s. I think I'd been at the sub club the week before and I'd realised that this girl that I was used to kick about with, it was in this band, Sister Lovers, Debbie Turner. I, I realised she was playing her a, a first show at King Tut's Wawa Hut at the end of May. I think it was a bank holiday Sunday at that end, end of May 93. And I showed up and when I got there, it was sort of kicking off with these mad Mancunians, you know, about 12 of them. And, uh, and the security, a little bit, it was getting really feisty. And they were in this band and I'd, I'd never heard them, but they'd come up on, totally on the make. Did not, didn't know I was coming around because Debbie didn't know I was coming. Just to see if they could get on the bill. They jumped in the bus and this was Oasis. And then, you know, I said to the promoter, which was DF, I think it was. And I said, oh, let, let them, let them play four songs because it was all my bands that were playing. And I went on up just to make sure that they didn't beat my band up. You know, they got two little bands on and, uh, and Oasis played and they played four songs. And then I, at that point I was like, oh, fuck, I'm signing them. Do you know what I mean? And then at the end, Coily, who was doing the Oasis sound, used to do the Teenage Fan Club sound. And they, their tour manager threw him off because he'd been doing coke, right? So I went up to Coily. Coily loved me because I used to do coke with Coily. And uh, and I said to Coily, oh, like, who's who's the leader of the band? Who's the manager? And he went, oh, it's it's a, it's a um, no Gallagher. And I was like, all right, okay. And uh, you know, I did not like no Gallagher, I know him, but like, and got presented with no. And I just went, oh, do you want? Can I like sign you? Do you know what I mean? And uh, that was that. It. it was good. Because they were threatening to, were they threatening to smash up the place? They were, it was, it was, they didn't, they never they didn't, played. They didn't say it, it was by inference, do you know what I mean? Mm. But they, 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 it would have been quite hard for the security to deal with, because it was about two security and 12 manks, do you know what be, I mean? Because there was, was that... It was under, easier to let them play, to be yeah, honest, do you know what I mean? Was there YouTube, who, YouTube, eh, YouTube, YouTube management trying to sign them and double their salary? Yeah, 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 it was a guy called uh, Malcolm at their record company, YouTube's record company, tried to double or treble the, the advance and Andy McDonald at Codas tried to sign him. But to be fair, Oasis were always like that. No no Gallagher in particular, very loyal, do you know what I mean? Yeah, a, a massive band. Do you think yeah. if you never signed them, your career would be as it was? But you don't no, really I mean, sign I mean, big bands No, I'd, I'd done good up to that point. I'd done good as, kind of, I'd, I'd done as well as anybody else was doing, if you know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. uh, up to that point, as in the music business, that would have been, like, if you'd had... Scream Adelica and Teenage Fan Club and blah, blah, blah. That would have been kind of cool. You know, I mean, I'd have been doing as good as anybody else was doing, if you know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but then, I mean, Oasis, I mean, I think, it, well, I was involved with, I think we sold somewhat 60 million records, do you know what I mean? And it's still going. I think it must be about 100 million records. That's unbelievable. It's a, lot. a guy for Kings Park. And yeah. that must make you proud. It must make you proud. But even though it's difficult because people who live that life, it doesn't seem as big. It's, yeah. It might sound weird, but yeah. because you've lived it, it might not seem as big. Liam Gallagher, Noel Gallagher, but for people looking at the outside, right. it is fucking phenomenal. Right. It is phenomenal. Yeah. I don't really see it like the way you're saying yeah. it, but I hear you. Because most people's reaction is like that, but mm -hmm. I don't. Because I, I suppose I've lived inside that bubble for a long time. Do you know what I mean? I think the question that probably everybody wants to ask is, do you think they'll ever get back together? Yeah, it's a question they have to ask the whole time. No, I don't think in it. Not in the foreseeable future, James. Do you know what I mean? Maybe in years to come, maybe. But I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of bad blood between them at the moment. You know what I mean? Do you think it would they would ever be as big? I think it would be it would be big. Do you know what I mean? You know, that's not. Under, it's just you know, try and get to the end of the gig without killing each other. Do you know uh -huh. what I mean? But they're, they're, you know, if they did it, they'd still be good. I think. Do you know what I mean? Because you've got the social media, you've got the online platform. Yeah. They never had that in the nineties. No. And you look at how many albums they sold no, worldwide. Well, yeah. I mean, they were like. They, they went viral before you could go viral do you know what mm -hmm. I mean you know literally that just exploded do you know what I mean it took everybody by surprise when about because I signed them May 93 and, and but it actually didn't get them signed to about that, that October it took me about five months to get them signed but it's like and then they, they did Nebworth August 96 so that was a really fast they did Scotland they did they did Loch Lomond do you know what I mean you know, it was like really, they love Scotland what's that they love Scotland yeah, no, it's like it was a really fast, um, it was a really, really fast, you know, ascension. 
Yeah. Because when you look at the two of them, the two of them are they're both legends. They are. They're, yeah, yeah. They're again one of the biggest bands ever. Yeah, yeah. When you signed them, did you realise when you first watched them, did you think to yourself, they're going to be massive? They're going to be no. I th I, I, the absolute opposite. I thought they're probably good for an album, and the <laughs> and, 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 and good for an album. If I get out before the Stone Roses second album i might nick some of that audience but i never thought it was a career band i was just putting it out i thought it's a good band it's it's quite stone roses you know because it's, it's i've seen four songs bang it out and see what happens and it fucking exploded who was the worst one to deal with noel or liam um the one, I, 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 this is the real truth I, I never had really bad experience with the gallagher's mm -hmm. at all liam was always nice and and noel was a gen do you know what i mean do you know what I mean? You know, I've had more run-ins with them post than during that. Do you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> because that's when you were at. Yeah, how did when you signed them? You were you still on the drugs at that point? Then ninety three. I was. Uh, I've partied a few times with Oasis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah, yeah. That must have lasted a good few months at a time. No, it, it, it was like when I signed them May ninety three. I got sober February ninety four. But I had a few good nights with them. Do you know what I mean? Would What do you think the Oasis best song is for yourself personally? Probably Slide Away. Do you know what I mean? For the early stuff, anyway. Uh, I love Slide Away, but I mean, I mean, I love, I love lots of, you know what I mean? It's a good band. For all the, the bands that you've had, who would you say was your best album ever? Uh, debut album? Well, debut is probably Oasis, definitely, maybe, but maybe the best album ever put out was Scream of Delica. Yeah. Primal Scream, yeah. Because Libertines and that are great as well. Yeah, yeah. I didn't actually put that out, I just managed them. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. The management game is phenomenal, <laughs> what you've, you've achieved. Did you have that drive to be successful no, not really. I mean I just wanted to I just like music I still do I mean I still manage Happy Mondays and cast in Las Vegas do you know I still manage a few bands and I've got Creation going again as a 7 inch label James called Creation 23 and I've got a load of little bands but I'm, you know I just do music because I want to do it James I'm like Andy is doing it at 58 you're doing it because you want to do it do you know what I mean ultimately you know what I mean because the people that most of the people that I grew up with and stuck you know, they've all quit now. Do you know what I mean? Because they're mm -hmm. like, I suppose they don't love it as much as me. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? They, they, most of them have fucked off. You've got to have your passion for something. It doesn't matter how much money you make or yeah. what you do. If you've not got that drive or that passion yeah. to keep achieving, to keep producing number one albums or yeah. to keep signing the biggest bands. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a bit different. I mean, you know, we're not, I don't, we're not really put that many records out in recent times, but, but we're starting again with the little bands putting out, putting out seven and singles. It's going to be good, you know.